today I want to show you how you can create blinking bugs in the Unreal Engine 4. So first of all you need a texture, so in my case a fly texture. After that create a new material and set it up like this one here. So up here add a texture sample, then of course I will pass it to mask, so just multiply with a constant vector with a value of 1 and connect it with alpha, and of course the multiplier has to be connected with opacity mask. So that's the basic setup here. So just a texture sample, and of course the opacity mask. Then down here at emissive, we have to add an add node, which will connect with the texture sample, so B from the add node is the texture sample, and the A from the add node should be connected with a multiply. Then at the A from the multiply, we have to add a constant bias scale, and at the B, you have to add a multiply. Then at the second multiply, so that which you have connected with the B from the first multiply, you have to add a constant 4, no, sorry, constant 3 vector. And of course, at B, you have to add a constant 1 vector. Then up here at the constant bias scale, just add a sign node. And after the sign, an add node with a time. Now with the sign node, you can control how fast it should blink. So as you can see here, that's a value of 0 0.9. When we type in point 0.1 and we'll blink much faster as you can see here or we can also type in 10 then it will be slower as you can see here it will be pretty slow so I would recommend you to type in a value of 0 0.9 that it will blink like this one here then down here at the second multiply with the constant 3 and the constant 1 vector you can choose the color of the blinking and of course the power of the blinkingness. So for example when we type in we choose a red color here then it should blink red as you can see here. And down here when we choose for example just one then the blinking won't be so strong as you can see here. But you can also type in let's say 100 then it's pretty strong as you can see here. But I would recommend a value of around 5 to 10. I would just choose, let's say, 8 now. And that's it. Now I just have to choose at blend mode mask and at light mode default lit. Now just click on to apply. And now we can create a particular system. Here you have to set up everything like this one here. So in here we have to add a spawn model with a constant rate of 3 and a rate scale of 1. Then of course a lifetime with a value of min from around 4 and max from around 5 and of course initial size so the start size which a value from yeah here you could just choose any values you like I just choose 6, 10, 10, 4, 5, 5 and of course here you can change the initial velocity so you have chosen these values here but as I said I will just upload the particular system and the material to G drive so that you can download it so here you could choose the ve velocity then of course the location so where they should spawn then size by life so that they get so that they are big at the beginning and then it, that they get smaller at the end. Then of course the rotation rate, the orbit so that, that that they rotate in orbit and fly around. Then the line attractor which will which will tell the particular system that it just goes straight into a line and not just somewhere around. And of course another orbit to control the the inner radius, so the radius of the of a single particle. That's the whole setup of our, my particular system, and as I said, just download it and take a look at it, because yeah, I've chosen some pretty strange values, and I just have to, just have to change some stuff and so on, and it would be too complex to show everything. And the result will look like this here. Of course, with the red color, which won't look so good, but as you can see here, now we have blinking bugs that are blinking, yeah, red. Yeah, that's, that are the basics of how to create a blinking bug particular system. Thank you for watching and until next time.